Hi everyone, and this is the very first segment for I'm Feeling Crafty 2012. Here, for the very first time, I will be showing, giving you an exact tutorial how to make a needle or craft space holder. I made this first one out of some of one of my favorite yarns and I have very little left back so I decided to wrap it around it, my favorite ice cream container and it is the container is from a gelato I love gelato ice cream especially pistachio and coconut and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this I got a plain regular cup from Michaels it came with you know that the stain markers that you could draw in your cup well yeah and since this is overstocked with my knitting needles and crochet hooks and other stuff my stitch markers I decided to make another one so I'll be showing you guys how to do this and here we go first you're gonna need some yarn I cut some of my yarn and you're gonna need my favorite best friend my magnetac 809 and this sticks to every single surface so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you guys how I do it take your yarn I'm starting with the handle because it's a when you have that little tail from the handle hanging down you, it can be easily covered when we go around the whole entire cup anyone could do this anyone if I could come up with this this was also inspired from Lion Brand Yarn Studio because at Lion Brand there are many holders covered with yarn this way and I just really had to come and show you guys. I love Lion Brand. Anything that Lion Brand does. So here it is. I knot my yarn. And I'm going to just try and tack it down. Move that up. And tack this knot and all of this down to here and around the edge. So that it would not move even when we're doing the rounding off so that it will be permanently done so I put my glue around the base and form a line so that the tail of the yarn can be stuck to the cup permanently And I think this is a great decorative way also. And we start to wrap it around. Pay no mind to the express excess glue. So you're gonna lay it flat like this and keep wrapping around the handle like this. And you have to do it very tightly so that there's no loose. And one thing I love about my craft glue is that it dries very fast. I think it's going to look very beautiful with variegated yarn or self-striping yarn. It gives it a whole lot more funkier look. Very vintage and a whole lot of fun. And this is a craft that kids can do once they're at the reasoning of understanding. They can do it too. Little tree four year olds can do this and have a whole lot of fun. If you guys don't want to do it, you could get your kids to do it. They probably will enjoy doing this. I enjoy doing it. And I hope when my son gets to that age, he'll enjoy doing this too. And we keep doing that till we get to the top of the cup and we do the same thing at the top of the cup we will not at the top also and I, when I get back 
when I get to the ending of wrapping this down as you see I'm pushing it down so it could be very tight together at the same time so I'll meet you guys when I get to the end okay guys so we're back I'm back <laughs> and the whole cover is wrapped you can see the little glue hair is okay it can come off but we're still gonna cover that up so once we get to the top and what I did as I wind, I push it down, push the yarn down like this very tightly, and I twirl it in the direction of where I am wrapping my yarn. So it's pulled down tight and twirled very tight. And what now you see why I choose variegated because it gives it that 70s kind of funkiness. Feels really nice, looks really good. Yeah. So instead of cutting it and doing it like this, we're going to keep it in a continual round. I, as you see, I'm running out of yarn here, so I have cut a, a lot more set. So as we keep going, we're going to take our magnet tack to secure here before we start winding. We're going to secure it tightly with the magnet tack around the first round up here and around the brim right here off the cup that way when it's dried we can wrap around here this piece right here and it will hide with the yarn wrapping around will hide it we're gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna show you guys the start off and then I'm gonna come back when it's dried so we're gonna make sure our glue is there in the direction right here we're going right around the edge we're gonna make sure that it is very secured on both ends okay so that the yarn won't undo everything as well well the amount of glue that's going on I'm sorry it's probably enough to secure two rounds to definitely make sure that our yarn does not become undone and I'm going around eh, trying to focus the camera doing the glue around the whole edge of the cup let that get a little tacky we're gonna place the yarn down and we're holding it tightly going to start wrapping our yarn around the edge of the cup Pay no attention if the yarn rolls, we can just roll it back. But we're doing this tightly, people, tightly. And it, ref and it requires a bit steady of a hand, I must say. I'm going around the second time. Just make sure that your yarn is to the edge of the mouth of the cup as possible. As I'm fixing it, since it's tacky, it's easier to fix it when the glue is tacky. Then we're going to join our new yarn here as we have glue right here still making it tacky
Uh, I am so sorry about that, guys. I'm getting so <sighs> accustomed to this camera. So we secured our yarn. We're gonna try and make it snug as we always do. And we're gonna go all the way around, peoples, all the way around, making sure that there will be not even a space when we get around. So now we're here to the top. We're gonna go around again one more time. Because you see, the, the space for the handle is blocked. And as we go around again, we're going up, around, no, under, right, we're going under, over, under, over. under yeah we could do that and then we could always take extra pieces and fix that once the yarn is here okay so now I'm back I'm gonna show you how I found a way to fix it so when we come here this is what we get, right? By the handle. We want to do this with the yarn. You see what I mean? So we're going to take our magnet tack, our trusty glue. I'm trying to bring it down. It's pretty thick glue, but it's worth it every single penny. We're going to put very little there around and under. like that and we're gonna take our yarn pull it tightly don't forget that's not we have to do it very tightly and move the yarn into the position that we want it to go like that one thing I love about this glue it can come off our fingers so there's no need to worry about it. And wait for it to dry before we start wrapping it again because it can end up with a little Okay, egg. the camera died. So I went ahead and as I showed you earlier how to glue as we keep going around and around till it becomes straight again so I did apparently it took me seven wrap arounds before it becomes straight again and here's what it's gonna look like it's pretty cool huh yeah so this is how far we're almost halfway with the cup so as we continue I'm just gonna relax my hands so as we continue we're gonna do when we get down here we're gonna do the same thing that we did up here right here and up here to end off and I will get to you guys when I get down here to the end and how to finish off your craft cup you can take an old cup, a very, very old cup, and do this too. Like your favorite old cup that you want to spruce it up, what's not. Yeah. So, see you guys later when it's all finished. Okay, guys. And I'm sorry for that, but my camera died. So, I went ahead and I finished off the bottom of the cup, as you can see. The same way that we did the under right here and what I did I glued around the last two rows 
of the yarn as how I glued down the first two rows securing that the yarn will definitely not move not even in in this area here okay um so here's the ending of my yarn and I make sure I glued it on top of the ending segment of that row now as you can see I already done put on my first set of decor for the cup and you could just decorate this anyway this is one of my favorite variegated yarns and this is also some of my favorite variegated yarn also from Red Heart and I cut two pieces one is bigger than the other this smaller piece here will be for the other side and this bigger piece is for this side of the cup so let me show you how I did the yarn now I remember watching seeing this famous painting I don't know what the name is of the painting but I saw the way how the, the artist did his swirl to do for the skies so I said I would do something similar like that but to come around like you know like that so in a circular motion so we're gonna take some uh, trusty craft glue we're gonna do it down like this in a big circular motion because we're gonna cover the whole circle basically and you do the circle as big as you want that's how big I want my circle and here we go we're gonna place the yarn in the center of the circle and we're gonna start rolling it around itself like this making sure not to leave any space you have to do it fast because one thing I love about this glue exposure to the air it will dry fast make sure you push down and add pressure to ensure that it stays in place And remember when you're doing the scalp, use your favorite yarn because you're the one who's gonna have to stay with it or like it because you made it. Okay, now I need to add some more glue because no one ever said that I was a perfectionist to get it as big as I want it. So I'm going a little bigger. I absolutely love these two variegated yarns. I forgot the name of both these yarns but the pink one I thought was really ugly believe it or not when seeing it in an unworked manner just rolled in a ball I thought it was not the colors individually were beautiful but together I thought they were like hideous so when I decided to buy it and I started to work with it I saw how beautiful it came out that was awesome so there we have our circle then we're gonna do the same thing but instead we're gonna bring it inwards the net circle inwards or we could put it right here which is totally cool also but I want to give it like a S kind of shape you could do it any way you like down here I think I might do mine down here yeah I want mine to be mostly here in this area so you're gonna do your take your glue bring it like that I'm just showing you how I decorated mine And 
and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to put a little bit more glue in this segment because it has to stay wet long enough. Okay. So here we go. And make sure you do it the same way. That's because they're working from the outside and make sure they're very close together. I'm going to get my scissors and end the yarn here, leaving a little bit more so we can wind the center down. And there we have it. So we're going to clip the excess yarn. There we have our swirl. It's totally unusual to me. But all of this, this whole cup was an inspiration from watching craft videos on craftsy.com and on lionbrand.com. And there we have our decoration. So you continue decorating your whole cup and I will debut the finished product on, there you see it, on the cast off video. So everyone, this tutorial will be up after tutorial Tuesday. And I know if you're watching this, then you know this was recorded way before. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, cast off girl. Rock. Bye. And this is the official cast off cup also. So here is the finished product, guys. All fun furry, glittery, sparkly. And as you can see, it is the cast off mug. Fully finished. Sparkly, super girly. I hope you guys like it. I enjoyed, so enjoyed making this. And I hope you guys have a fun time doing what you like to do with your favorite scrap yarns. So, this is Maria signing out with her cast off mug. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Bye.